Good after morning. I'm out and about there, Rob. How are all you? How are we all today? If you look straight in front of you, where them lights are, I'll probably get a little bit closer. There's a BBC Newcastle Studios. Just where them white fans are passing. I know I said in the previous video that I did at Nuns Park, Nuns Moor Park, sorry, that I'll show you the way the Shearer, Shearer statue is supposed to be going, but obviously I'll do that in a, either this video or the next video. Because the last video I didn't, well, the video I've done before this one, 20 minutes. I don't over there, the Castle Studios. BBC Radio. That's why I have BBC Radio as well, Newcastle, Barrack Road. We're now walking down Barrack Road, Newcastle. Probably gonna put that. Just waiting for the lights to change. Don't want to cross the road and get one hour. Don't know if you can uh, see it over there. Broadcasting centre. Just been in Nunsmore Park and I thought we may as well break up the videos into three or four separate videos. This is the second video of today I'm doing. And along here is where you, uh, I think it's the blood bank along here. Don't quote me on it. Ellen Square Gardens, City Centre Parking. I try and cross the road. Yeah. BBC TV Centre. And the buses you can get is 62, 71, 72, 87, 72, 63. Bingo! <laughs> Trying to cross the road. Who's the studios? If you carry down this Barrett Road, I think this is called Barrett Road anyway, someone will probably correct us if I'm wrong. We'll take you in the centre of town. Via Sir James's Park. Uh, city Centre, Park and Ellen Square Gardens Co op. Huh? This is where you want to come if you want to buy a brand new mini. Or a Excuse me. If you look up the sign, above the cycle sign, Army Reserve Centre. And then someone's left another purple ribbon. Go on and fill in the cars. Someone's got the horn. I've just seen a uh, something of interest, so I'm crossing the road.
It's the history of the Fenham Barracks. I thought I'd just, uh, that's, that's the mini car place where you can buy used and second hand minis. Well, when I say second hand, they probably are being refurbished. The history of Fenham Barracks, the castle upon time. Scroll down slowly so you can read it. I'm trying to go slow as I can. But all this you probably just uh, look up online anyway. Nineteen thirty, that's where the barracks, nineteen thirty. Barracks in Castle. Can I see a date on that one? Foxy doors. Oh, bloody sniffing. Flipping heck. <laughs> Fenham, Fenham Barracks Hospital, 1940 after Dunkirk. That's starting to rain. This hospital is reputed to be the last Florence Nightingale Hospital in the British Isles. Alright. The detailed history of Newcastle Barracks, a soldier's life has been written by Thomas A. Hewitson, published in 1999 by Tyne Bridge Publishing. Thanks to Newcastle City Library Services for all the use of the images. So there you go. Oh, across the road. My eyes start to rain. Fenham Barracks, N-U-O-T-C We're not going, I'll not go down there I'll not go down there Army Reserve Centre Over there We've got the Blood and Transplant Centre Just there Oh, and then you've got BMW over there, Holland Drive. And Fenham Barracks, Tier Centre. You probably see it better now since I've, I'm walking past it. As you can see in the background, I don't know if you can, but you can see St James's Park. Well, the, the roof of it anyway. There, Bout Road. Lisa's court over there. Morning, morning chaps. Lisa's court over there. I don't know if they're flats or what. They probably used to be houses, but they're probably being converted to flats. Someone probably in the comments will tell us if that's if that's okay. I'm gonna try and cross this road to show you this.
I'm not sure if that was part of the barracks, but it looks old. Try and cross the road again without getting run over. I think these were part of the barracks, I'm not sure. I, I should have done more homework. There's one of them there, and there's another one about there. One of them who would ask for Frankie puppies. So how you, how I, how is everyone doing? The least is Wellens. There's a sign up there where that tree is, just behind that tree, these are dwellings. Don't even see it from here. It's just there, behind that tree. Right there. It's got Lisa's dwellings written on it. Oh, pardon me, it's starting to rain. Poxy weather. It doesn't, it doesn't know what I wanted to do from the next. I wouldn't care the other day. It was chilly, but the sun was out. It was really nice. But. Yeah, you can't predict the weather, man. The weather, it's got a mind of its own. Do you think? Oh, yeah, I think. <laughs> Just quickly show you from here. Yeah. If you look over there, that's the Royal Victoria Infirmary Hospital. And over there, she named this park. And you got the church tower. I think that's the Somerset's church. Oh, no, it's not. It's either St. Thomas's church or Civic Centre. Someone will correct us on that one. Oh, no doubt. I don't mind people correcting us if I'm wrong. That's the whole point of making videos and people can tell you stuff that I may not know, which is fun. That's all the part of the fun. We learn every day about something new every day. We're constantly learning and evolving. If that makes sense. Because mind you, I don't make a lot of sense at the minute. Yeah, I've, I've always been like that though. Onwards and upwards. Woohoo! Right, coming down here, on the left, we're going to be passing through this park. Now I'm hoping this is this is going to be the video that I'll show you where the statue was supposed to be going to be put. Because I want to show you before it gets put there. Because there is plans by the council to remove a statue in that area, but it doesn't say which particular statue. So everyone's presuming, but and me too, that it's a Shira statue. Steps. I think the rain's trying to re ease off. Hopefully, I think it was just a little shower.
I thought I'd just get out of the house for a bit and make some videos. I've got to try and keep the content content going. Try and make as many videos as possible, but not in one day. I usually make two videos, three, two or three in a day. Depends when I when I go, whereabouts I go and stuff. Anyway, enough about me. How are you doing? Stalp Street, Arthur's Hill, the General Hospital. That's where I've been, obviously. And this is where we're going. I heard some rustling in the bushes But I can't see what it was Could have been a bird Or some little on a rodent But I did hear rustling in the in the I'm not in the undergrowth Have you ever been in that uh, pub? I've been in once. I'm not even going to tell you the name of the pub, what it was, because I don't want to be get struck. I don't want to get struck off from YouTube. So I'm not telling you what. I think it was called the Black Bull. Ah, uh, the Black Bull. I thought it was another name, but it was called the Black Bull. Apparently, who's got the pub now? Wants to turn into a Newcastle themed pub. Ah, it used to be called the Black Bull. He suggested for names on Twitter and asked suggested the two magpies, but... Aye, it's definitely the Black Bull. I've been in that pub once. Oh, and that was a few years ago. That's a pub. I think that's a park leading to Leeds' Park. That's it, it was Leeds' Park. Save that for another time. Because I think I've only done a video of Leeds' Park. Not all of it, because I did say I'll come back at some point. This video may be a little bit longer. Because I don't want to uh, mess on with another one at the minute. Because the, the weather's turning for the, turning worse. I.e. raining. Working on a barrack house. There's some construction going on over there. 63 to kill him with. Got the gates. To stop the traffic coming through. They never used to be there. Barrack Court. Just there. Obviously that must be part of the Fenham Barracks. I don't know if it still is, but it was. That's all that's what I'm presuming anyway. So James's Park. Kind gentlemen, so let's cross the road. I 
That was nice of him. You got some nice people. Sorry if that was a bit shaky. So James's Park. Right, let's go and see the statue because it is, it is actually moving at some point, but well, I'm not sure where. Why on earth would you build another stadium when you've got a, a, a palace like this? I know Mandley, Amanda Stavely and her husband says they're not going to build a new stadium, which I'm pleased because I wasn't I was unsure, but now they've come out and said that. that James is part of the heart of the town. I'm, I'm relieved because why change something if it's not if it's not broken? Why fix it? Obviously, the city wants doing up. It wants it wants a facelift and a interior and exterior, but that's all it needs. Just some tender love and care. Fill in the cracks. Filling the walls, new tellies, I think they've got new tellies in anyway. Right, we'll come to the stereo statue. This is where the stereo statue is now. Apparently, Mike Ashley had a falling out with Shearer and he offered to put the Shearer statue here. But here used to be the local the local toilets. I've done a video about this before, but I'm, I've come back because that actually, well, like I said previously, they're actually moving it. Commissioned by the Shepherd family, Newcastle Shearer, Alan Shearer and C B E. 1970, England, Newcastle United. Take a one last look before it gets moved. Wants to be moved in now. You can tell there was toilets used to be here. Public of toilets. And I'll show you where people reckon it's going to be moved. And I think it's going to be moved there too. Got a lot of Tesco's. We're coming up the Strawberry, this is Strawberry Place. Right. See this bit here. This this bit here. This is where it possibly might be going. Here. Somewhere around here. And there's Bobby Robson, obviously that's staying, that's going nowhere. So Bobby Robson. There. Just there. That's where it's been planned, proposed anyway. And I think it will look good there, next to Bobby Robson. Rest in peace, Bobby. You should be proud of what you achieved and what you've done. You should be proud, my friend.
Do it one last look. Obviously, when the statue is moved, I will come back. There. That's where it's supposed to be moving. But if anyone's got any other ideas, I'm open to them. Have a walk along here, then I end the video. Cup of strawberry. Can he pop the strawberry? I'm not dwell on that because I've done a video of it already. But we're going past anyway, so I might as well mention it again. The nine bar, we've got good news about the nine bar. It's going to be turned back into Shiraz. Hey, there's me and the camera. Nine bar across the road. It's going to be turned back into Shiraz bar. I'm not sure when. But when it does, I'll come back and make a video of it. I'm going to leave you at the strawberry. That's the castle's official club store. There's the Melbourne statue. And I've done a video of that already. So it's pointless going over all ground. Right. I've been out and about and up. If you like the video, please consider subscribing. Show you and your friends and family would it be appreciated. Please comment. Below, give the smash up that like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Arvidas in, goodbye.